everybody. How are you all today? Um, hope you're all keeping safe, um, doing what needs to be done to keep that safety. Um, so today I'm going to do lots and lots of little videos and tutorials and things like that to help us get through this this crisis, okay? Where it comes to our wigs. Um, so the other day I, I had this new wig and I started cutting it. Um, and I hadn't finished it. So today I'm going to finish it for you. But first I'm going to take it off. Hopefully without taking my... There we are. So I'm wearing a wig, wig uh, cap. Which is just coming off a little bit. Bit of me. There we are. Let's get all my hair back under. Okay. So that is on. And I just bring it right up to my hairline and I tend to cover my ears with it. You might prefer to put your wig cap behind your ears, whichever you prefer. It's all about preference, okay? So I don't know whether you can see properly here, but my, this wig is a lace front one. And I cut the lace front off the other day. So here is the part in, okay, which is made to look like it comes from the scalp. So with this wig, it also comes with some clips so if you've got naturally by your hair you can clip your hair to these clips for more added security okay so i'm going to pop it on now and do a quick tutorial right bear with me so when you put your wig on be sure to put your forehead tight into the wig and that way it won't slip right off at the back so i'm just adjusting it Trying to get the part in right. Okay, bringing it back a little bit more. So that is where it's supposed to be, okay? So in all fairness, the wig doesn't look too bad. Um, for me, I'd like to just do a little bit more of adjusting. So I'm using today a razor, okay? Um, the blades I use is Wilkinson, because they're the best. I'm not saying to use a razor to do your hair if you're not confident. Maybe your hairdresser would do it. Um, but in these times, I'm posting out so many wigs lately. Um, and I know a lot of my ladies do actually need to have their wigs trimmed a little bit. So if you feel confident, by all means, give it a go. Okay, so that's, that's one of the tools I'm using. Then I'm using my scissors for pinpointing. And also a thinning scissors. So this is just um, a small thinning scissors, very narrow gaps in between. You can get larger gaps and so on. So this is what I'm using first. Um, I'm very hands-on. I tend to just feel the wig, um, put my hands for it and think, right, okay, I need to do an adjustment here. So at the moment, I feel there's just a little bit too much hair on the side. So, okay. So first, again, you know, I'm very hands-on, no section in as such. It's, it's feeling the hair um, and just gauging by feeling how thick it is and where you want to reduce. So it's a little bit thick there for me. So I'm just, I'm sliding my thinning scissors from the top all the way down, okay? So big, big brush, <laughs> lots of hair. Okay, so that already feels much, much better. So I'm going to go back to the side and at the back a bit now. So I'm grabbing a section, same thing again, thinning scissors. And slivering all the way down. So, getting the brush. I'm a hairdresser by trade and I know most hairdressers would be mortified by how I'm doing this. Um, but trust me, it's really different <laughs> cutting wigs as opposed to cutting your own bio hair. So again, I'm doing this again at the back now. I'm grabbing another section, thinning scissors from the top, chop down all the way. Sometimes you can do four times, five times, wherever you feel you need to reduce the bulk. So that's what I'm doing. I'm not necessarily getting rid of length. I'm reducing the bulk of the wig. Okay, so I feel happy with that. Bringing the rest down now, still a little bit full. So again, taking a section, 
popping it back in the clip so I've got a little bit more then that needs filling just going to brush it nicely so picking up my section got my thinning scissors and I'm cutting I'm hoping you can see this one two three four four times I've cut there now and then I'm brushing from the top right through to the bottom again you see how much hair is coming off and I'm just reducing bulk not length right bring the big section down okay so that now really is quite top heavy um, so I'm going to put the thinners through there because it is on the top I'm not going to go too crazy I'm not going to go too close to the roots but here I can feel it's really really thick so just combing it through with my fingers actually I'm going to reduce that section there because it's a little bit wide okay thinning scissors again and I'm going through this one is a longer section, so I'm going to have to turn through a bit more. Brushing it out. More hair. Oh, itchy nose. <laughs> Synthetic hair. It does tend to tickle a little bit. <laughs> okay. So the same thing again. Getting the brush. Right. now then I think with the thickness I'm actually quite happy with that it doesn't look quite so wide now um, let me just check the other side so this isn't so much hair on this side because we've got the natural part in um, I don't have to reduce as much but I'm doing the same here I've got my thinning scissors and down we go. It looks more roofless than what it is. <laughs> but trust me, the amount that comes out is actually quite little. The bigger the gap in your thinning scissors, the more hair that comes out. I just go by a standard one. And you can actually get these. Apart from um, hairdressers' warehouses, you can get them from chemists as well. And I think the same with razors. You can get them from the chemist. Okay, right. So I'm just adjusting it again now because it has moved. Right, so now, fun starts, I'm using the razor. Uh, for this, I am actually going to have to have a comb. Right, now then, I do like the way the waves come through, but I just think it's just too much in my face. So, I thought I was going to use the comb, but I decided not to. <laughs> okay, ladies. Right, I've got my section, got my razor. If you've got a new blade in your razor, it's going to cut really, really sharply. So you could take too much hair off. So be very, very gentle. Okay, so I've got my section there. And I'm just going to grab it and slide it down. And again. Okay. Put my fingers through it to agitate the curls again. Right, that's looking a bit better. I'm going to get the section again. And this time I'm twisting it. Again, I'm very, I do feel for the hair. I feel, um, I, I put my hands through it. I get the feel of the wig, the synthetic, how it wants to naturally fall. And that's how I cut. This is how I always do my wigs. It's not like a traditional haircut. Okay, so... There we go. I'm slivering again to a sharp point at the end. Put my fingers through. So a little bit shorter there, which suits my face shape much better. Okay, so I'm just going back to the side here. I'm going to take a little bit off there. And rather than twist this one, I'm sliding down. Okay, so it's um, razor. Fingers through, agitate the curls. This is actually one of my favourite wigs now. It's it's a very new one and I just, I love it. I love the colour. I just think it's so cute. 
Um, it's a very affordable wig as well, so that's even better. Um, it suits all budgets. Okay, right. I can see now, I'm looking at the the wig there. Oh, and I feel it's just a little bit too. Actually, putting my fingers through it, rather than razor, I'm going to put the thinning scissors through this part. So I'm going halfway down. Put my comb through it. I will be putting sprays on afterwards just to give a little bit more definition. Okay, so that's looking better. All right, I think actually I'm really quite happy with that. Now the next thing I'm going to do is like at the hairline, oh, bit of an itch. Right, at the hairline, it's just a little bit too, um, because it's ombre and it's dark, it's a bit too solid for me. So this time I'm using my scissors. <laughs> And this is going to be quite drastic. It looks drastic, but it isn't, okay? So pinpoint, and as you're cutting, you're going like that, that kind of action. So here I go. And this side. And also a little bit along the parting, okay? Because our natural hair doesn't look as solid when we have a part in you know it doesn't look um it looks more gentle and of course we've got baby hairs so that's what i'm trying to mimic is that baby hair look right get my brush so quite a lot of hair come out but in a controlled circumstance. <laughs> oh, as controlled as it can ever be. Right, okay, that's looking so much better. It doesn't look so solid. Right, we'll adjust a bit more. Right, and actually, I'm just gonna do a little bit there. That's just a tiny bit too long there. So scissors there, twisting. Got my scissors, and I'm slivering up like that now. And a little bit on this side, tiny bit there. Do another twist. And up I go again. Okay. So, like I said, I'm going to do more of these little videos. Some of them will be tutorials. Some of them will be actually showcasing wigs. Um, and I welcome your comments, your feedback. Um, tell me what you want me to do. Tell me what you want to see. Um, and I'll happily try and accommodate you all. So... I'm happy now with how this wig is looking. I'm just gonna get my shape spray. So this is shape spray. So it's like our um, hairspray. If you're used to a dry hairspray, when you're having a wig on, the only dry wear, um, hairspray that I recommend is Elnet. You can't go wrong with Elnet. It brushes out lovely. Anything else could clog up the synthetic or our wig spray, which is a wet one, all right? Okay, so I'm just gonna close my eyes. So it doesn't go everywhere. There we are. Right, agitate it a little bit. Okay, there we are. So, I would happily go out to dinner, go see my friends while I can, <laughs> or just sit at home reading books, looking glamorous. So I hope you like what I've done today um, and would like to see more. And if you do, would you please um, subscribe to my YouTube? I've actually got a YouTube channel. Um, I'm still very green when it comes to media, but I am trying my best. So love to you all. Uh, namaste, because we can't touch hands and things like that. And when I see you, it's elbows. Okay. <laughs> so all the things we try to get around by um, still keeping in touch with each other. And I just thought this was a great way um, of showcasing what I have at Wigs & Co Salon, but also so that you're not feeling completely out of touch. And um, remember, I do post out. And if you need to have your wig cut, this, just showing you this tutorial, could give you the confidence to do it yourself. If not, by all means, when you're able to, come to me in a safe environment. All right? Love to you all as always. Take care. Bye.